in the past several years of my research into futures. And as I've gotten angrier and angrier that I haven't been trading futures my whole trading life, um, as a rule, the things that I've looked at have been very much on the simple beaten path. I, when I'm gonna trade it live, I just want it to be something that plenty of volume, I've heard of it, a lot of people have heard of it, a lot of people have traded it. I just wanted a lot of company. I didn't want to be bold. And I know that there are tons of different futures contracts out there, but I've just left them alone because they're too weird, they're too exotic. But um, as it turns out, those weird exotic things might actually make a decent amount of money. And Taylor is happy to learn that too, although we haven't learned that yet, Taylor, so calm down just for a second. All right, rough rice. That's what we're talking about. Yes, rough rice. <laughs> I mean, I know what rice is. I can pick it out in the supermarket. I don't really know what rough rice is, except it's rice that's rough, right? So I've heard of it, but not really, not in a trading context, at least not to any great extent. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. It's Here are the problems. It's tiny, right? If you haven't heard of it, it means not a lot of people are doing it, right? It's off that beaten path, and there isn't a ton of volume, so we can't trade a million contracts every day. It only goes back data-wise to 2004. I don't love that. Right? I'd love to go back to the 90s. I'd love to go back farther than that if there is. Jim Simon says, more data, more better. Me too. <laughs> I wanted to go back farther. So I don't know what happened back in 2000 when the dot-com crashed. Right? I don't know. So that's scary, right? And then anytime you're going to look at something that's a little bit different or weird or strange or small, you run the peer risk, right? <laughs> You watch this video on YouTube from some guy who's showing PowerPoint slides in 2024, right? And you say, I'm going to trade that system, right? And you tell your significant other, baby doll, because that's what you call people in 2024. You say, baby doll, we're going to go all in on rough rice. And they're going to say, you're doing what? With, with, with what? Right? That's a problem. You say, we're trading the indexes. You say, hmm, proud of you, baby doll right? They call each other baby doll. I think everyone should start doing that, right? But there is a problem. You tell your friends, I'm trading rough rice. Some people like that to be cool, but some people are scared to look like an idiot. So there is that problem and it's a real problem. Um, plus there's, this is the daily chart. We're looking at a daily trading system and that means rollover. And if you don't know what rollover is, that's a problem. It means you're in a trade and here comes a new contract and you have to get out of that and get into the new contract or you're going to get some rough rice dumped on your doorstep while you're reading the paper. Newspaper. <laughs> reading the newspaper on the doorstep. That's funny. But you get my point, right? So there are a lot of problems with going a different direction. But here are the good things about it. It's a commodity. It's not... On Wall Street today, the bulls, right? There's none of that. It has nothing to do with the market. It's rice growing in a field with farmers and machines and soil and sun and rain. Not anywhere near the market or anything like the market. So that means if you're trading something, you're not worried about how the market is doing. Maybe you like that. Or if you do want to trade something that's market correlated, maybe this could help, right? If you added this, to something market related, then huh, maybe that would be a good combination foreshadowing. The other good thing about it is that it's mean reverting. Many famous traders have started with mean reversion. Why? It wins a lot, high percentage, very pleasing by the way. That thing is overbought and look at that. It came back to fair value or oh, I'm buying this on sale. Look, it's gonna revert back to, right? There's a lot of joy in being right on a mean reversion, whereas following a trend is always nervous. When's it gonna stop? When's in the NVIDIA gonna come down and crash? And when's the market, right? There's a lot of angst in trend following. There's a lot of joy in mean reversion. So that's a positive. And this is a mean reversion system and it wins, <laughs> right? That's the fun part. Here is rough rice. Right, that's what it's called, RR in the futures world. Since 2018, this is via my favorite software in the world, Portfolio Architect. I use it every day or nearly every day. I use it all the time. You see it everywhere. And here is an example of 
the yearly returns, right? 2018, oh, there was a recession, right? There was a huge crash in 2018. Nobody remembers it. How did rice do? Fantastic. 2019, winner. 2020, right? Anything happened in 2020? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Rice did great. 2021, great. 22, that was a bear market. Nope, rice. Don't want no stinking bear market, right? 2023, up for the market. It's up for rice and doing well so far this year, right? This is how RR got on my radar. However, it's not perfect. Nothing is. Beyond that little period, we had some losing years, okay? Before I get to the next slide, I mean, look at 2008 when the world was ending. <laughs> the world might have been ending, but the world wanted rice. I mean, look at that. By far, it's best year when the market was having one of the worst years in our lifetime. That is a little intriguing, is it not? But why are there losing years? Well, very simple. Mean reversion doesn't work during savage trends. If the market's going hugely up, you can't bet it to go back down, right? Here are some examples. Here are some rough rice problems. Back in 2017, slide's a little blurry. Hmm, the production value strikes once again. Um, the joy of PowerPoint. But anyway, you can see one-way traffic here, right? Look at rough rice go. Well, you can't bet it, right? This uh, trade system particularly in particular trades when it comes back inside the Bollinger Band trademark and bets it to come back down. Well, it didn't. It's going one way, so that's a loser. Well, wait, now it's finally overbought. Back inside the band. Nope, still going up. That's a loser, right? Now it does pay off. And, and a nice winner here, but okay, it's down. Now it's sold off. It's gonna go back up. No, it's gonna get hammered, <laughs> okay. Oh wait, this is definitely coming back up. No, you another loser, right? No, it does pay off. You can see a huge winner over here, right? When the reversion actually trends for you, which is nice. But it just won't work if it's going in one direction. You can't go back to the mean if it's just going and going and going and going. So that's why it loses. And let's take a look. This is current days as I make this video. It's July 2024. You can see that most two recent trades are both really, really nice winners. You can see now it's dropping below the band, and that's how it trades. It goes below the band, and we trade it to come back up. So we have a trade setting up, hmm, maybe pretty soon. You can see we've had a loser here, winner there, loser, right? Lots of winners back here. Uh, and that was 2023, a bunch of winners. So... That's what's happened lately. You've seen it now during Savage Trends. Let's talk about the details, right? We've talked about how, what it does. Let's look at it. The Bollinger Band, trademark, length is 55 and down 1.1 on the standard deviations for longs. However, for short trades, the Bollinger Band trademark, length is 50 and you go up 1.1 standard deviations, okay? Ooh, that sounds like curve fitting. I know but you've seen the results and you can decide for yourself. All that means is that these two bands are a little bit different. One's 55 and one's 50, but the plus and minus are the same. The standard deviations are the same for both. How do we get out? Well, the, for long trades, 19 days slash 19 bars. That's it. For shorts, oh, again, a little bit different. 25 days is your timed exit. That again, sounds like curve fitting. Fine, fine. Don't use it then. It's a free system that does very well on a free video. So feel free to mock it. I would love for you to do that. Just don't message me or I will block you. Anyway, those are the details, okay? Now, what do those details get you? Rough Rice Report on a sample $10,000 account. Now, one really cool thing about Rough Rice is that the margin requirement is like, it's like $1,400. It's something super small, meaning you could trade this on a $1,400 account. <laughs> Whoa. As long as you win first, you could make a million percent, right? No, I'm not advocating that at all. But if you use the hypothetical $10,000 account, this is how much profit you're trading just one contract each time. There's your drawdown, way less than a typical index fund. Um, no absolute drawdown, started winning from the beginning of our test, and we have a decent amount of trades and we have a nice win rate. So um, 
that looks pretty good, <laughs> does it not? Now, keep in mind this number, 74.4, okay? What did the SPY do in the exact, so what did an index fund do or an index ETF do in the exact same time period? Well, the SPY from June 2004 to July 2024, your $10,000 would have turned into $69,000. 10,000 here would end up with 84, right? Our 74 plus 10. So index fund 69.5, rough rice 84. Um, rough rice makes more money. <laughs> this simple little system with weird on a weird commodity using weird inputs makes more money. And that's with no compounding. If you compound, you could do way, way better. So what do you think about that? Well, I'm not done. You get so much out of these videos. Oh my goodness. Cause we're going to combine it with a very, very simple system on the ES where you buy on the dip. Okay, I've talked about it. I will give a link, the link to the other video as people do in the YouTube world. But it is just a buy on a 240 minute chart. You buy on dips, right? It is the ES. So if you just bought on dips, so we're we are using the stock market with our weird little rough rice, and there you go. Over the exact same period, 2004 to 2024, profits up to 198,000. The drawdown is. 13, right? Now we do have to use, we can't use a $10,000 account because the margin requirement of ES is higher, right? It's over 12, 13,000, depending on your broker. So we'd probably have to use, you know, a $15,000 account if you're really aggressive or a $20,000 account. Regardless, this drawdown will vary depending on how big that account is. This one I believe was for 20,000, right? Just roughly speaking, but you can throw that one out, but that profit number is just trading one contract on both each time. And that is um, way, 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 way more, <laughs> right? And then just the market. And here is the report on a typical $20,000 account. It's up about a thousand percent. So why did it do so well? It's because as we mentioned, it's not correlated. Rice is doing great when the market is doing poorly. They're just not related. Not always, but many times, right? This still has small losing years, but it bounces back and it bounces back hard. You can see there are drawdowns here. There are drawdowns, but by adding something non-correlated that beats the market by itself, by the way, to a very simple index system that buys on dips, you can see, <laughs> number one, you get great results. But number one, you can see that a simple commodity by itself can beat the market as long as you don't trade too large, right? And the liquidity becomes a problem, right? And we learned, as I just said, if you combine with an unrelated index strategy, it looks absolutely fantastic. What do you think, Larry? Uh -huh, that's what I thought you'd think. All right, we're gonna finish with the speed round. First of all, like and subscribe. Me and Andy would both be most honored if you did that. Um, my website is changing, hasn't changed yet, but there is a massive overhaul, so you'll be hearing about that. And of course, there are two books out there that you can read, written by me, and there's a disclaimer, do not risk any money, cannot afford to lose. This, this information is for education purposes only. That's all for this time. We'll be back next month. Bye for now.